Okay, today we're going to use Autodesk Inventor 2014. What we're going to be primarily doing is learning different functions on the main box. Right, so what we want to do is we want to load up Autodesk Inventor Professional 2014. There we go. Alright, as we get open, we just basically want to go straight into new. If you don't understand what any of this means, you can watch the basic tutorial that I made in the past. Standard. Okay. Today we will want to change our background into something we can basically sketch on. So I want to create, let me think, the battering. So for Batman. So I want to go to tools and you can go application options. Um, for right now, you don't want to mess with any of these options, just keep them default. We just want to go to colors. And you can see that you can pick any color that you want that you think looks nice. It's really your preference. So I like winter's night. Okay. But that's not all I want to do. I want to change the background. So you scroll down on the background button, you left click, and it drops down the drop menu. You can color, you can make a gradient, or you can select your background image. That's what I want to choose. Now we want to click our image. We want to find the image that we want. It could be any image. And here's the battery. I'm just going to open that. And I want to apply it. And then I want to close. As you can see the image in the background, this can help out for um, sketching. This is just going to be a quick sketch, this isn't going to make it perfect. But this is just a tutorial on showing you how you can use application options to your benefit. Now I've got 3D model. I'm going to click that, and then I'm going to click that. So as you can see, you get the outline of the whole shape, which is really nice. So what I want to do is... That one makes another line. Okay, I like these colors with it because it makes it look better, I guess. Um, like I said, this isn't going to make the perfect logo, but we'll try. I'm just going to basically use the line tool to make everything right now. So let's just start with something. But this is all freehand. This is just like if you're just trying to sketch something real quick to get an idea of what you're trying to make. I accidentally messed it up, so I'm just going to want to fix this real quick. Um, as I keep going,
All right, now what we want to do is we want to trim all these little different objects out of here. And then what we want to do is we want to mirror this object so it can be on both sides. And where is my this and just make sure you click all the parts that you want to be married. As you can see, it's not the best, but it makes the image. This is just for like a, I'm just making this as a quick sketch. I'm not really trying to make this the best. But if you wanted to use this to make a final design, you could. This is just to give a roughed, roughed picture of what you're actually trying to create. Um, now what we want to do, we want to go back to tools, just so we can see if I go back to application options, change the background image, just one color. I'm just going to apply that. And then, I don't really like that color, so I want to change this guy. Okay, as you can see, it's a really, really messed up logo, but it, you can see the basic form of it. But now what we want to do is we want to just extrude this to give it some As you can see, you can see a really not great looking battering. But this can help you if you sketch something on a piece of paper that is almost exactly the right diameter and the right size. That's about what for. Um, you can use this to your advantage. Um, but yeah, that was just like a little quick tutorial on changing your background and your stage on Autodesk Inventure 2013, 2014 to your advantage.